Nonprofits in the city providing everything from early childhood education to senior services say they cannot pay their bills. Many of them strangled by bureauc bureaucracy, they say. And tonight, CBS 2's political reporter Marcia Kramer gets behind the red tape. Empty halls, abandoned tricycles, rooms full of desks and chairs. This is what's left of the Harriet Tubman Early Childhood Education Program. It's one of six schools run by Sheltering Arms, a 200 year old nonprofit that is closing. A major reason millions of dollars in late contract payments from the city, which has an approval process best described as Byzantine. It can take as many as 300 days for a nonprofit to get paid. It's not one thing that brings an organization like Sheltering Arms to make these kind of decisions. It's a mix of delayed payments, um, contracts that are, you know, take years to register. Michelle Jackson of the Human Services Council represents about 170 nonprofits who teach the young, help the homeless, provide mental health services, and aid the elderly. She says many are, like Sheltering Arms, on the brink of insolvency because of the city's archaic bureaucracy. We have organizations who are owed 20 or 30 million dollars um, from government. Uh, while they continue to provide those services, they can't hire and retain staff, and contracts don't cover the real cost of providing these services. It's so bad, a city task force found that more than 1,800 nonprofits were in danger of closing in 2021. Comptroller Brad Lander says there are so many steps to getting a contract registered that it can take almost a year for the money to flow. Multiple agencies, including the law department, the budget department, and the mayor's office of contract services, have to individually Individually green light a contract before it gets to his office. And obviously, we couldn't do that with our schools or our police precincts or our firehouses and say, you start keeping us safe on July 1st, we'll get around to paying you next May. And it's time to fix it because our nonprofits, they just, they can't afford to operate. The city's joint task force to get nonprofits paid on time found that 75% of the contracts were registered so late that organizations were forced to take out loans to make ends meet. I think paying interest on late Contracts that are late registered would be extremely helpful. John McIntosh is with a firm that provides loans to nonprofits. He believes financial penalties might force the city to up its game and says the city also has to find a better way to support groups that help the needy. Without healthy nonprofits, this city is a dystopian nightmare. No after school, no summer programs, no programming in the park. No homeless shelters. A spokesperson for the mayor says he has started a program to clear the backlog that has helped 450 providers, but there's much more work to do. Some of the reforms will require state legislation. I'll keep covering this tangle of red tape, and I will follow up. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.